Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the electron transport chain which follows the Krebs cycle in the aerobic respiration. In this process, after the Krebs cycle ends, all the NAD plus molecules, FAD, and the ATP molecules pass through different electron carriers which are called cytochromes through which the NAD plus and the FAD molecules move from one cytochrome to another as they are different in the energy levels. When an NAD plus moves from one cytochrome to another, three ATP molecules are produced. When an FAD molecule passes from one cytochrome to another, two ATP molecules are produced. So when a hydrogen carrier moves from one electron carrier to another, an amount of energy is produced that varies according to the type of this electron carrier. NAD plus gives three, t three ATP molecules, FAD gives two ATP molecules. This is the first thing. The second thing is that oxygen is the last receptor in this electron transport chain. When the hydrogen carriers move from one cytochrome to another in their cycle, this cycle ends with oxygen. So that oxygen combines with two electrons, two protons, a proton is a hydrogen atom, and one oxygen molecule. We type half O2 because oxygen is a gas and we cannot type it this way, so we must write O2. So in order to express one atom, we type half here, so half by two gives only one oxygen atom. So this yields a, high, um, a water molecule. So these are the two steps of electron transport chain. Energy is released and water is produced. So let's calculate the amount of energy produced from the whole aerobic respiration. We said in glycolysis there are two NAD plus and two ATP. Then glycolysis converts the glucose into two pyruvic acid molecules. The two pyruvic acid molecules at the first part of the Krebs cycle are changed into two acetyl-CoA and during this we have two NAD plus produced and two carbon dioxide molecules produced. Then the acetyl-CoA undergoes the Krebs cycle to get the citric acid molecules and we said that the cycle is repeated twice because each STL-CoA enters the cycle independently when the first finishes the second goes to the cycle so here we have 3 NAD plus by 2 gives 6 NAD plus 1 FAD by 2 to give 2 FAD and 1 ATP by 2 to give 2 ATP molecules We convert these to ATP. We all we said that one NAD plus gives three ATP molecules, so two gives six ATP. 
280 plus 6 ATP 6 NAD plus by 3 gives 18 ATP 2 FAD we said that the FAD gives 2 so here we have 4 A FAD and 2 ATP molecules here here we have 2 ATP <coughs> so if you sum all the ATP molecules this is ATP sorry if you sum all of them together you will get the final which is 38 ATP molecule and one ATP gives an amount of energy ranging from 7 to 12 kilocalories per mole so this is the energy that the aerobic respiration yields the next time we will know what is the non-aerobic respiration what's its type types and um, what amount of energy that it produces and until the next time I thank you for watching and see you